these are all outlined in uh, section six of the white paper on the STA website and available from mdlconnection.com. That white paper lists, I think it's 11 different uh, risks and challenges to the ecosystem. I'm going to just talk about two of them myself, and then the others are covering the other 11. So these are also opportunities for us to kickstart a really robust MDL ecosystem to make things really work widely. When you look at the one factor that will most ensure consumers adopt this, it's that if this is accepted everywhere, they know they can walk with their card today and use it anywhere they need to present ID. And that needs to be true of MDL as well. And I'll discuss some of the things that are challenges, some of the things you need to jump over to get to that point. And they fit into really kind of two frameworks. One is having really robust interaction modes so that verifiers choose to go ahead and accept MDLs. And that also that, you know, the verifiers choose to accept them in ways that uh, fit their business and um, expand their business opportunities or expand the way that they accept MDLs. And then the other is sort of what the market forces are behind the start off of this ecosystem, because it could start slowly or it could start really quickly and roll really quickly. So both of these are things we can work on in STA What's um, to, to help these forces. Go ahead to the next one. So looking at that, um, at that, the full featured rollout, essentially looking at the ability of MDLs to support multiple different interaction modes. If you just take a quick look at first blush at how you think some of these verifiers may want to accept an MDL in a restaurant. It would work really well for the um, for the waiter to walk up, scan over your shoulder with a QR code, go to Bluetooth or go to a quick online request to the issuing authority and pull the data. This can work really well, works well within the flow of that particular interaction. TSA has, uh, and we heard in webinar, I believe two and three about uh, TSA, how TSA is looking at at accepting this, and they very much want to start with um, with offline transactions with an NFC tap, and then moving to something like Wi-Fi Aware for um, for the data transfer. So they want to do that offline. If you look at a supermarket, you, right now in many supermarkets, you walk in and there's a plexiglass window. You see a sign there, which may be hard to read, but it's like, please, you know, consider using contactless payments because no, we don't want cards to um, change hands any longer. So using that NFC device that you see there seems logical first step for um, for supermarkets or you know any market that, that sells an age-restricted product. And of course, roadside stop where you've got a distance and safety security measures may, may have that officer want to make a distance connection. So there's a variety of ways in which verifiers will want to accept the MDLs. If MDL solutions come out and only support one of those, then verifiers may say, oh, okay, well, I can change my business process a little and I'll do that. That can be really helpful to jumpstart in the ecosystem. Or they might say no, and that would be a deterrent to jumpstarting this ecosystem. 